Hey, I know why you're happy. Yeah, yeah, because today we're going to be talking about your favorite color, blue. And we're going to be looking at this great book called The Quilt Maker's Gift. And later I'll read it to you, okay? Okay. So we're talking about blue today, your favorite color. And this is the color wheel. And our project is to create a quilt square using complementary colors. So, yes, we're going to use blue, but I want you to look what's across from blue on the color wheel. Orange. Do you like orange? That's orange. Okay, you like blue. Okay, look at red. What's across from red? Green. And the last one is violet and yellow. Got that? Yeah, complementary. So today we're going to look at blue and its complement orange. So let's move these out of the way. Got it? Okay, now in this book they talk about all the different kinds of patterns. Yeah, lots of patterns, lots of patterns that you can choose from. But we might make one that's very, very simple for a beginner. Okay? Okay. All right, let's put this down. So we have our two colors, blue and orange. Let's put them in screen here. And let's look at some colors over here and see if these colors would work. Yeah, okay. So let's start with orange. Duh. Don't you think orange would work for a quilt? Okay, let's put these up here. What about this? Whoa, look at this. Here is blue, 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 orange. I like it. I think those might go together. Let's look at another one. Okay. Uh-oh, blue. Blue. It's blue and orange. It's got white in it, and it's got yellow in it. But let's just move these aside over here so we can line these up better. So far we have a solid, a pattern, and a stripe, but they all have blue and orange. Yep, yep, as long as it's got blue, ooh, yeah, I know you're excited. Okay, next, there it is, the color of life, blue, your color or mine. So we have orange, pattern, stripes, and blue, and how about one more? Okay. Let's look over here. Ooh, look at that. This is a famous designer. So let's look at this. Blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, stripes, patterns, orange. So we have this would repeat over here again. So that matches very nicely. And I think this might be, yes, an extraordinary blue quilt. So would you let me do some cutting, especially the blue? Okay. And then we'll look at some patterns. Okay. Okay. Good. See you in a little bit. Hello. I've used a lot of my fabric as samples, and I've decided to just use a pattern, a simple, fast, and fun kid quilt called rectangles. And rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. And what I've done is solid, pattern, solid. Solid, pattern, solid. Then pattern, pattern, pattern. I think it's going to be outstanding, but I need to iron it now and then pin it together and I'm going to show Alfie just to make sure he 
likes it before I start sewing. I think that's a good idea. While the pieces are ironed and they're pinned together just briefly on the back, it turns out that Alfie's already gone to bed for the night, so I'll show him in the morning. I think that well, good morning, sleepyhead. Woo! It's morning. I want to show you something. Okay, check this out. Blue, yep, that's your favorite color. There's another one up there. Now, these are the pieces that I chose for your personal quilt. And yeah, for just for you. Wow, yeah, if you like them. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sew. Go ahead. Yes, okay, go ahead. All right, let me put them aside then and I'll know exactly what to do. All right. But our initial video was supposed to be a square. Yeah, a square demonstrating your knowledge of blue and orange. Remember, orange, yeah, I know you don't like orange that much. Okay, so here we have little squares that make up one big square a template this is a little four inch by four inch template, but you can also buy these in heavy duty plastic so you can see through them and make sure, yeah, to make sure that your squares are exactly the size that you want because quilt making is, yeah, it's very, very mathematical. You need to measure as perfectly as you can and then the creativity starts. Hey, we forgot something. So before we forget again, we want to thank Pharrell Williams. Yes, for writing that really wonderful song called Happy. We love to dance to it.